So here's the uh, driveway that suffers from all the uh, snowing or the blowing snow. This uh, in the winter time that tractor will be just about covered and what happens is this area in here you can see out to the lake nice straight stretch right up to the other side when that's all frozen over the wind just picks up on that and it just comes blowing through here and then drops the snow right on the driveway so what I did was I put in a snow fence. I'll come up to that in a minute. There's another shot of the lake and it's uh, probably a couple of miles so that wind really picks up. There's a little call it the summer house. It's only useful in the summertime because it's so damn cold here it'll get to minus 20, minus 30 real easy. And here you can see the snow fence and the drop to the water is something in the order of what 15 20 feet and that curve is almost like an airplane wing and so when that velocity picks up just blows the snow right over this hump here you can see the cottage in the background and then deposits it on that driveway way way over there you can see that's where the tractor is. You can see where the snow will just deposit itself once the, uh, you know, sort of hits the land and starts slowing down. So the theory of the snow fence is that it creates turbulence, absorbs energy, reduces the speed, and once the speed is reduced, it'll uh, drop the snow in this area here and that way I don't have to muck with it with the tractor or the snow blower or anything like that. So that's the theory and I've got two sections of 50 feet you can see way down the other side there sort of mounted here and hopefully this will work. And so here's another shot out from the lake as I said it's about a mile and a half two miles I guess and once that surface is frozen solid that wind just goes zipping around and then hits the shore and goes hopefully this year in theory anyway hits my snow fence now it's not designed to stop the wind it's designed to slow it down and way in the background you can see the tractor there and the garage so that's the theory anyway it gives you an idea of what the drop is as I said it's about 15 20 feet it's really nice here in the summertime. In the winter, I freeze your ass off if you don't watch out. But it's a nice day. It's, uh, it's the end of November, so I'm getting ready for winter here. Looks so nice that you'd almost want to go swimming. You wouldn't. It's probably about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But it is a nice day.